I lived in many cities. Uh, I, by the age of 18, I guess I lived in 12 or 13 different houses, uh, in many places in Israel and also in the United States. So I think if, uh, in, in, in coming back to your question, I think feeling intimate with different cities, different places enable, enables you as a writer. As a child, I hated it. I hated moving from Jerusalem to Haifa, to Tel Aviv, to Detroit, to Prince. I hated it. I was angry about my parents moving all the time. But as a writer, it's a gift because you can, you think, you always think of a scene as in a, in a very democratic way because you know there's another possibility. When I write a book, I'm not really uh, troubled by the question, is it reflecting uh, the contemporary Israel? Is it reflecting the issues in, the, in this current uh, Israeli politics? It's not, I, I, and specifically in this book, um, I started from this very strong urge to write about secrets and confessions. There is a point in the book when the, 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 the scene opens up. There's a long shot. Usually it's a very, like, if you're talking about films, it's a close-up kind of book. You're very close to the characters. But there is a point when you have a long shot, and, and it's the point about, the book is talking about the demonstrations we had in 2011. And again, for me, it was very personal to write about these demonstrations because I was taking part in, in these demonstrations. If they were important to me, I f there were, I would say, even a turning point in my life. It changed my life, being part of this big political uh, uh, action. Uh, in a way, affected the fact that uh, we opened our creative writing school, which is a, a non-profit school who wants to influence society. So. For me, again, it was it was something very intimate to write about this experience. I was looking for an opportunity to write as, as a story. So I don't know. I, I enjoy Edgar's compliment, but uh, when I write a book, I'm I'm interested in the characters. And I'm so into their souls and their the way they think and their language, their music, that I cannot. Uh, think about chemistry and, uh, and, uh, and reflections of society. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you finish a book and it happened to me with Homesick and you understand you also wrote a, a kind of a microcosmos of your society, but it's not intentional. I do not, I do not sit at home and think, hmm, I'm going to write a microcosmos of the Israeli society because the, it would not be intuitive, it would not be passionate if I would write this way. Regarding uh, simplicity, I think when you confess, when you have a very intimate conversation with someone, there is no room for fake sentences, fake literature, fake uh, uh, beauty. Uh, I, I felt obliged to be very authentic. To, to bring the authentic voice of my characters. The only thing I cared about is finding their authentic voice, the way they would really tell this uh, story they are telling. Because if it's like music for, to me. If you hear, when you go to a concert, or, or, to, uh, or to a jazz concert, and if, if you hear something that is wrong, that is trying too much to be, that is uh, uh, not on the spot, it immediately ruins, ruins your, your joy of the concert. And this is the same with writing. If I'm obliged to, to be a very, very uh, uh, accurate in the, in the language and in the rhythm, I, I portray my character. So, and it was stronger in this book because they are talking to other people. It's not a narrator. It's not someone talking about himself to himself. It's a conversation. So it has to be very, very intimate and, um, and, and authentic. So maybe this is why you, you felt what you felt. And this, this book has been uh, also an audiobook. 
So I had this opportunity of hearing the characters actually played by actors reading the text and, and like a real confession. I was, I was listening to the audiobooks and, and this is, the, I think, the best test you can have for a text if it's read out loud by someone and it's still right. You still can't find a word that is, is too much, is trying too much, is, uh, is too beautiful. I had, in a way, to restrain myself as a writer, not to write beautiful sentences, not to echo the Bible or the Talmud or other writers, because if I would do that, and, you know, I can, I, I, I would do it in another book, sometimes it's, 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 it's relevant, but if I would do this in this book, it would be fake. I would be faking, I would be uh, trying to be uh, this good writer instead of really giving myself to the characters.